Uh, all right. Uh, greetings, greetings, everyone. Welcome to Back to Basics. Look, I want us to learn in terms of how can we prove our theorem number eight, right? So we are going to be learning tricks on how to prove our theorem eight, right? Now, in this particular theorem, basically, we want to prove that this particular side, AB, is equals to AC. How can we go about proving that? So, which means we are going to start firstly by providing construction, right? Uh, construction. What is it that you are going to do with construction? You are obviously going to start by joining what? You are joining, uh, you are going to join firstly your BO, uh, your what? Your CO and also your AO, right? So, which means you are going to start by joining this line firstly, right? This line, firstly, remember this must be a straight line. So you're going to join this and you're also join another straight line here. And you're also going to join this straight line, right? So that you make these to be two different triangles, right? So now can you see that these are two different triangles? And since these are two different triangles, now we are going to use congruence to try and prove these two, right? So which means you are going to say in triangle, uh, in triangle, a, B, O, and also our triangle, what, A, O, C, A, O, C. What is it that you are going to do? Triangle A, B, O, and also A, O, C, right? Or rather, your A, C, O, either, or oh, still, this is one and the same thing. So you are going to start here. You are going to say, look, my B, O is going to be equals to what? The B, O is going to be equals to the CO, this is going to be due to what? Due to construction. Because uh, what is it that you might have constructed here? You are you might have constructed your radii because this is the line from what? From the center to your circumference of your cycles, right? So which means BO and also OC are going to be the same. Secondly, what else now are you going to have? Now, can you see that this particular angle here and this particular angle here are going to form 90 degrees, right? So which means actually your angle B is going to be equal to your angle C, right? This is going to be taken from theorem 7, which is because this is, can you see that this is your radius perpendicular to your tangent, right? So this is going to be your radius, uh, radius, let's say this is radius, are perpendicular to what? Perpendicular to your tangent. Remember, A, B, it is going to be your tangent. What is your tangent? Tangent is the line that touches your circumference of your cycle only once, right? So, and lastly, now your A, O. Uh, now, and B and C, while we are still on that, this is going to be 90 degrees, right? Remember, these are going to be forming 90 degrees. And then your A, O is going to be close to your A, O. This is a common side, right? Because this side is going to be common in everything, right? Now that you have proven this, then you can conclude on your congruence. You can then conclude that your ABO, your triangle ABO, is going to be congruent to your triangle AOC. And what makes that? Remember this, you have proven your side, uh, right? This is your, you have proven your side, your angle, and also your side. All again. So basically, that's going to be that. Or rather, the right reason that you're going to use, this is going to be your RHS. Why is your RHS? Remember, you are having your right angle here, you are having your hypotenuse side, and you're also having your side altogether. So you're going to use your RHS as also your reason altogether. And then now that, now that you have concluded that all these sides are, uh, all both of these triangles are congruent, then you can conclude from congruence that my AP, therefore, is going to be close to my AC. What's going to be the reason uh, behind that? This is going to be what? This is because of the triangles that are going to what? Are going to be congruent, right? Congruent triangles, right? Altogether, let me just write the reasoning very nice here, right? Uh, usually, we are saying this is going to be congruent triangles, right? Congruent triangles, therefore, make us to conclude that our AB is equal to AC because from congruence, we know that all the sides are equal and all the angles are equal. Okay. So basically, that's going to be your theorem number eight.